Everyone deserves the right to be physically and mentally healthy. This is why the UN have made good health and well-being for all a global priority, health is defined in a variety of ways. When we get cheek up with a doctor, things like our weight, our behavior and our genetics are important. We measure the health of communities and nations by talking about things like life expectancy number of doctors and nurses and mortality rates but what does a healthy country look like? If you want to live beyond the age of 80, you should think of moving to Italy. Why is that? Italians live a health Mediterranean diet consisting of fresh fruit, vegetables, dairy products, olive oil, and red wine. They eat pizza, too but everything in moderation. Unhealthy habits can have a negative effect on our health and well-being. When we eat unhealthy food, drink too much alcohol, and smoke cigarettes, we can become sick with non-communicable conditions like obesity and heart disease. But our health and well-being is also subject to change from external forces. Dot unhealthy infrastructure like poor sanitation and lack of clean running water can lead to the spread of communicable diseases like malaria, diarrhea, and flu some of the leading causes of deaths. And under-resourced, mismanaged healthcare systems can worsen the spread of non-communicable disease because they don't have the doctors and nurses to treat patients or the money to pay for medicine. And in countries where healthcare is not free, lots of people cannot afford to pay for the care they need. But it's not all bad news. In fact, the signs are good. Between the years of 2000 and 2015, global life expectancy increased by five years that's because governments are partnering with health organizations for better infrastructure and trained doctors. In countries like Uganda, Professional midwives are giving more women access to safe delivery during pregnancy, and all around the world scientists are working on new vaccines and cures. Our health is connected to the health of everyone on the planet because illnesses know no borders, but neither do cures. If we pay attention to our own health and well-being we can make the world a happier, healthier, more prosperous place. Umar, what are you doing? Smoking a cigarette is not good for your health, especially when you're already struggling. I know my friend, but I'm stressed out. This is just a way for me to cope. I understand that you may be stressed, but smoking is not a solution. It's just going to make your health problems worse. You need to find healthier ways to cope up with the stress. I know, but you don't understand. You are always happening on me. I am failed four times in my SSC exams. It is stressing on me. Even more. Sorry if I come across that way. But smoking is not a solution. I'm just worried about your wealth. And your weight and smoking are two major health concerns that need to be addressed. I know, but it's not as much simple as you can make it. I I I have tried before to quit smoking, but it's not not what I understand that it can be difficult, but it's important to keep on trying. There are many ways to lose weight and quit smoking, and we can find a solution that works for you. I just want you to be happy and healthy. Okay, I try. I try to quit smoking, but I need you to be supportive and understanding. Of course, I'll always be here to support you. I just want you to be happy and healthy. We will work together to find a solution that works for you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Anthony, help me! Help me! What happened? I'm dying. We need to go to the hospital. Let me call the ambulance. We need an urgent ambulance. Today, we gather to pay our respects to the person who lost their life due to smoking and stress-related health issues. Their death is a tragic reminder of the importance of SDG Hashtag 3, which aims to promote good health and well-being for all. SDG Hashtag 3 recognizes that good health and well-being are fundamental human rights and essential for sustainable development. This goal aims to ensure that everyone has access to quality health care, including mental health services, and to eliminate preventable deaths from diseases such as heart disease, cancer and diabetes.
One way to promote SDG hashtag 3 is by creating awareness about the importance of a healthy lifestyle. This includes eating a balanced diet, engaging in regular physical activity, and avoiding harmful substances such as tobacco and alcohol. As individuals, we have a responsibility to take care of our health and well-being, and we can do this by making informed choices that promote healthy living. That's one of the reasons why it's been so difficult for us to close the disparity in healthcare that exists along economic lines, despite the expansion of health insurance under the ACA or Obamacare. Healthcare in the United States assumes that besides getting across the large land expanse of Los Angeles, it also assumes that you can take off from work in the middle of the day to get care. One of the patients who came to my East Los Angeles clinic on a Thursday afternoon presented with partial blindness in both eyes. Very concerned, I said to him, when did this develop? He said, Sunday. I said, Sunday? Did you think of coming sooner to clinic? And he said, well, I have to work in order to pay the rent. A second patient to that same clinic, a trucker, drove three days with a raging infection, only coming to see me after he had delivered his merchandise. Both patients' care was jeopardized by their delays in seeking care. Healthcare in the United States assumes that you speak English or can bring someone with you who can. In San Francisco, I took care of a patient on the inpatient service who was from West Africa and spoke a dialect so unusual that we could only find one translator on the telephonic line who could understand him. And that translator only worked one afternoon a week.